hello everyone welcome to my channel so for today's video i have done another bold lip color look so let's start with the tutorial i'm starting with my eyebrows and this is the brow pencil from benefit it's very easy to use product you can find similar product in any other brand it has a pencil on one side and a spoolie on other side and uh, what i'm doing is filling in the gaps and then blending the product with the spoolie After that I will set the brows using the clear brow gel from Benefit. Again it's a very nice brow gel. It sets your brows and it doesn't move. I'm priming my eyelids using the P. Louise base. It's in the number I think 0.5 or 1 because the eyeshadow palette is the Huda Beauty's rose pastel palette. So the pastel colors doesn't show up on the my skin tone so I have to use a base which is lighter than my skin tone. and. Uh, with the pastel shades you have to pack more product and blend less keep that in mind you cannot start blending right away so pack more product and blend less now i'm taking this purple shadow on a morphe's m456 brush it's an absolute favorite brush you cannot go wrong with this brush it's very nice super detailed and super nice for that detailed blending work again i'm packing the product Keep packing and building the product until you are happy with the intensity of it. Now I am taking the Pax Glitter Adhesive. So once you apply it, wait for the product to become tacky and after that you can apply your shimmer on it. I am using this one. It has a very nice pastely tone to it and it looks absolutely stunning. You know Huda Beauty, how she formulates her eyeshadow. They look very nice. It has that glittery sheen to it. And uh, this is a trick to make your eyeshadows last longer. You know, after a certain period of time, your shimmery eyeshadow starts to fade away. So applying a glitter adhesive underneath makes the eyeshadow last very long. Here I'm taking the Inglot's white gel liner and I'm applying this in the inner corner because I will be applying a pastel yellow shade in the inner corner and I want that shadow to pop nicely. And it will stay like this throughout the day without me worrying about it fading away. Now I'm blending the matte shadow with the shimmer. So there are no harsh lines. So here I'm using the liner from Huda Beauty. It's a sketch liner and I received this in the combo pack, the one that has mascara and eyeliner. And the mascara was already on 50% off and I did receive this as a like kind of a free product then. But uh, I don't particularly enjoy sketch liners because I never had any good experience with them they always end up trying like you don't even get your money's worth they dry very quickly in the tube itself instead you can work with a gel liner because even if it dries up you can use a duraline and fix that thing but this one was super pigmented very thin but uh, it went smoothly on one eye and on the other eye it gave me a hard time so I don't know what to say about it. Maybe I will give this one an another try as this was the first time I was trying it. Now I'm using the Huda Beauty's mascara. I like this mascara a lot, especially the lengthening side. For lashes, I'm using the Paparazzi Lash from the Balm. And this is the Smashbox Halo Primer to get that glowy base. And I'm blending with this Pro Art F80 brush, which is a very uh, exact dupe of the Sigma's brush. I think that brush is also named as F80, but uh, it is very dense Kabuki brush. And here I'm using the foundation from Flower Beauty. It's the Light Illusion Foundation in the shade Soft Sand. It's a very nice foundation, great for dry skin. 
but if you have extra dry skin um, you can add some oil like i have one from smashbox pack has oil as well you can use that one but one adding one or two drop is more than enough and this concealer is from estee lauder it's in the shade too warm Now I did feel that the concealer wasn't bright enough so I went ahead and added the Nude Sticks concealer it's in the shade 4 and this concealer has a very um, light to medium coverage and it is very skin like and uh, great for dry skin but the coverage is to the light medium side that's the reason I don't use it very often. And the Huda Beauty is Tantor. Yep, this is very easy to use product and uh, it has that emollient sort of formulation to it. So it looks very nice and healthy on the skin. It doesn't dry out your skin, doesn't look patchy or anything, blends nicely, stays nicely. To blend the product, I'm using the brush from Anastasia, the one they launched with their Luminous Foundation. To set my under eyes in the center of my face, I am using the Huda Beauty's Cherry Blossom Powder. You need a tiniest amount of this powder. It's very nice, it is very blurring. Now I'm fixing everything using the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. I like this spray a lot. I have gone through three bottles and this is the fourth one. Now the Colourpop liner. I think the shade is Cry Baby something. This is the Lilac Tone liner and of course the pastel tone will go very well together with this Lilac gel liner. Now I'm using the same shades which I have used on my crease. Now I'm taking this shimmery shade and first I sprayed some Charlotte Tilbury spray on the brush and then I picked the product so that the product can apply nicely and look pigmented because the brush wasn't picking any product. Now I'm using this blush from Colourpop and uh, I think today was not the day for this blush because honestly this blush is very beautiful when I first bought it and I tried it but uh, today I don't know it wasn't applying very good so I had to switch to the flower beauties blush it's in the shade sweet pea yep and uh, very nice cool tone blushes now for highlighter I'm using this one from benefit it's the cookie highlighter and as you can notice I'm applying too much of product like uh, the blush and highlighter because once I'm I have applied it I will go back with the beauty blender and uh, press the product in and the blender takes away all the excess product so don't worry about that so I will be doing two lip options for the people who don't like very bold lip color the first one is this is the lip liner from Pat McGrath the shade is suburbia and very nice smooth lip liner and I'm using this Huda Beauty's lip glow lipstick I don't know and it's in the shade baby face it has a very cool toned gray sort of look that's why the lip liner was there to balance out the coolness of the lip color and it was looking very pretty
so moving on to the second lip option this one is from fenty beauty it's in the shade unlocked and uh, as you can see this has to be the most beautiful bright pink lip color and uh, it was very pigmented you need very little amount of product so it will be better if you apply a lip liner first and then fill your lips with the lipstick so that it will prevent the lipstick from bleeding and here's the finished look i hope you guys enjoyed watching this tutorial and uh, i will see you in my next video till then take care bye